Hello, today we do more fishes. All right, welcome back to drawing fishes. So we've drawn fish before and we drew simple fish. And now we're gonna draw a little bit more fun fish, some pizzazzy fish. So what do we do when we start off? We draw a big circle. But today we're going to draw a couple different kinds of fish. Right now we're gonna draw a puffer fish. You know what puffer fish are about? Puffer fish are like these like fish that they're like, hey, I'm just a normal fish. It's cool, but then they get scared. They go, Bwah! And they, go and they get scared and they get all spiky. And uh, they don't swim around like that normally. I mean, normally they're just like, oh, I'm just fishing, fishing around, and they go, Bwah! and they just get huge. And they get scared and they have spiky, 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 like this. So we're gonna draw one of those. So, fish shape. We're gonna add a little tail. Remember how tails go? Tails are like that, or like that, or like that, or like that, or whatever you want for your tail, but pufferfish specifically have this kind of tail. All right, remember, we want to have shapes first and then we build details, and then we use the magic of an eraser because erasers are your best friend. They are not about errors, they are about being a real artist. Okay, so this guy has got his fish eye. Doo -doo 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 fish eye. And because it's a little bit scared usually whenever it wants to puff out, you can have a puff face like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm puffed. I puffed all over myself. I don't know if I can say that. Anyway, the spiky things super easy we're gonna go spiky around here right and they don't go all the way around the fish spikies or the the puffer fish really just kind of have them mostly around their bellies spiky belly which is weird right like it'd be a bummer to have a spiky belly no one to rub your belly i have zero people rubbing my belly but if i was like a dog or something like that, then I would want people rubbing my belly, but as it is, I'm not a dog, and I want zero people rubbing my belly. All right, so he's got some spikes. If you want to make some spikes bigger than others, that's okay, that's cool. You wanna to try to distribute them even, not evenly, but like, you know, a little bit of variance. You have the size, you see how I did the size is different? Because what do we always say? We say, Brady, Drawings love difference. They like things that don't look the same. All right, got a fin here. Okay, cool. So we more or less have a puffer fish now. So you know what we can do just because we're, we're fancy? We can put another eye over here. Just like that. All right, so this is how we draw a puffer fish, but we're in Brady's art class. And Brady's art class is not interested in, I'm just gonna draw a puffer fish. I'm gonna draw fanciness. So when I think of this puffer fish, I look at him and I'm like, man, that guy's got spikies everywhere. And I think, what, who else has spikies everywhere? And I'm like, punk rockers. <laughs> it's like, this guy is like a punk rock puffer fish, which also has beginning P's. So it's got a little alliter alliteration, which is fun, especially if you're giving presentations also starts with P. Look at me, punk rocking P presentation with a puffer fish. Uh, I'm about to be, let's get a job doing TED Talks. All right, here we go. What do all good uh, pu uh, puffer fish, punk rock puffer fish have? Mohawks, all right. And this is like this little curly Q here. This is a nod to a little bit of like in the 50s hardcore guys like the greasers. I've only seen, I wasn't really around much in the 50s. So I think of the greasers only because I've seen exactly like one movie involving them. I think that's what's literally called Grease, which I just maybe now putting that together. Here we go. He's got a little curly cue because it's also it's a little bit cute with the punk rock See, this, here's another thing. We don't want this just to be straight line because that's not fun. And what do drawings like? Drawings like difference. They like things to be 
variance. Variance, fancy word for meaning different. Impress your friends. Oh my gosh, you're looking very variance today. No, wrong use of different. No, I would like a variant on my macaroni and cheese. I would like, see, that proper use of variance. Or variant. Variance is the noun. I stopped that. Stop that. I used to be an English teacher, strangely enough. Here we go. Good. With solid mohawk. But what else does a punk rock fish need? Well, we need piercings because a good punk rocker says, I believe in anarchy and punk rock music because of how I dress, which is weird. But, and right now, you just go, you say, I believe in anarchy and down with the system. But you're like, I'm going to go buy this at Hot Topic, which I don't know if Hot Topic still exists. I've been overseas for a long time, but I go buy these things, which is ironic considering your distaste of capitalism. I again digress into market economy questions. I'm going to stop that. Here we go. But got some good piercings here. Got a spiky bracelet. What else do we need? Oh, we need some tattoos because a good punk rock fish has tattoos. But this punk rock fish loves his mom. Oop. Right. Kind of, there we go. Oh, it's like on the cheek, which is kind of a bummer. Also, punk rock love safety pins. I don't know why we love safety pins, but if you've got a safety pin piercing your already spiky thing, man, that is the punk rockest thing I can possibly imagine. And they're like, dude, do not mess with that puffer fish, because that puffer fish is so hardcore. Modern things, we've got a little piercer here in the lip. And all good punk rock or er, fish, punk rockers in general, need eyeliner. There we go. So we're going to have some eyeliner here to say, man, I'm so hardcore, I do not even care. I've got eyeliner on, and I've got a safety pin in my face, and I've got another safety pin over here. Why is it full of safetyness? I don't know. Maybe it's just the only needle I could find. Anyway, don't pierce yourself, because that's probably a bad idea, and also very unhygienic. So what we do now with these guys, these little, we'll just put a little, little dot, little, uh, little bitty lines here to kind of give it some depth. These guys are going to say, hey, see how they're smaller? They're going to be behind the roundiness of the fish. So this is going to say, that's cool. This one's behind. That's cool. This one's in front. This one's in front. This one's behind. And we'll give your fish some depth and general coolness because, I mean, could it possibly be more cool than a punk rock puffer fish? I mean, these are questions that are difficult to answer. Pretty much done. Great. Moving on to the next one. So another one of my favorite kinds of fishes is a moray eel. So eels are like, kind of like snakes, but they breathe underwater like a fish. So like if you were going to say, hey, I want to just take a snake and a fish and turn it into a a snish or a fake, and then that's kind of what mores are. Mores are really also cool because they they look like legit dragons. They've got these cool mouth. So he's got his head here. He's going to have his nose. And the other thing that is interesting about moray eels is that they always have their mouth open, which is kind of just like disconcerting when you look at them because they also have these crazy teeth like they're like I do not mess around with moray eels because they've got these crazy sharp teeth and they, they almost look like glass they're almost clear and these guys look like they are not playing around but actually they're not going to do anything to you they're also kind of like oh whoa we got some fanciness there because he's an eel so he's kind of like a snake so it's going to go do that number. Cool. Uh, the, let's take, put a little eye in here. 
So he's actually not going to like bite you or be a problem. He is just having a breathe. That's how these guys breathe, is they breathe through their mouth. And so they always have, they always have their mouth open, which makes them look ferocious and super scary. But they needn't be scary because they are just being normal fish. That's just how they're breathing. Like that would be super bummer if everyone was super afraid of me just because I was breathing. Like, that wouldn't be fun. Also super fun, they've got tube noses. And their noses are just shaped like tubes. So who can be afraid of someone with a tube nose? Like that's, I don't know, that's not that scary. All right, then they have a fin, but the fin goes all the way down their back, like that. And here, what we want to do is put in a little bit of lines like this, because that's going to help it look like just curving around. And some, some lines here with its fins. There's one fin, and kind of the the moray eel lives in like holes in the ground, you know, and so or not in the ground in the in the ocean, and uh, they live down there, and they just kind of keep poking their head out. They're like, Yeek. and they just and they just sit there with their mouth up, and they look so scary, but they're not. So let's tell them. Hey, you know what? Maybe you are a beautiful moray eel, and we love you, and we don't want people to be afraid of you, so we're gonna give you a flower crown. So this flower crown is just to say, hey, I'm misunderstood. I just breathe with my mouth open, like I'm, and, and I have giant teeth, but that's, that's just for, for having, just because I have teeth, because I have teeth, you have teeth, Let's, we all have teeth, except for some people who don't have teeth, but that's a bummer. But so we've got these beautiful flowers to say, when you see me, don't be afraid, for I am just a poor moray eel who's misunderstood because I breathe with my mouth open and I have big, sharp, scary teeth, but don't be afraid of me. There's a flower crown here, and he's also being attended to by little bees, but we can't have bees underwater. Little shrimps, like, so we got little, little shrimps just buzzing around and saying, oh, we do appreciate you, moray eel. We think you are a kind moray and beautiful in your own special way. And he, moray eel's like, oh, thank you, cleaner shrimp. And I, I think that you are also serve a wonderful purpose in God's design. And they're like, we all do. And so they just had this wonderful moment together. And uh, they, they all feel better about things. All right, great. The next time you are seeing a hole in the coral reef whenever you're swimming around and you see this thing go Wah! pop out and, and be like, ah, it's got crazy teeth. And you're like, oh, my goodness. It is. And it, it, it's so scary. But he's like, actually, you can give them with a flower crown and their tube noses and like gaze upon my tube nose because my tube nose, who can be really afraid of anyone with a tube nose? I can't be. All right. Misunderstood moray eel. Hopefully more understood. I'm going to put some dark lines in here. Remember, not all everything is dark, just some pieces because drawings love difference. Okay, cool. Next one. For my last trick this evening, it's not a trick, because I'm showing you how to do it so that everybody can do this. I can draw another kind of fish. This fish is an angelfish. So, angelfish. They're like the butterflies of the sea. Beautiful, beautiful butterflies, beautiful, Beautiful angelfish. Maybe like an angel. I haven't seen very many angels, but if I did, I imagine also beautiful. Great. Fish shape, like we normally do. Throw in a fish tail, like we normally do. 
But this time, here's where it gets exciting. Are you ready? You can't even, you need to buckle up because it's like, yeah. And then now with a, yeah. And that is, it's, that's what makes these angelfish angelfishes. They have these giant top and bottom fins. And so this is going to make it, and then also angelfish don't have necessarily this shape. They have this shape, All right? So I'm going to give him a pointy nose and like so. Great. My friend the eraser, come up and clean it up. We use guides. We do not just draw the shape cold. Our fish will look lame otherwise. Also, I do want to point this out. I do not just know how to draw an angelfish. It's not just in my head. I looked these things up, and I use reference pictures. You know why? Because all artists use reference pictures. None of these guys just have it stuck in their head. So don't think that these artists just have an infinite amount of like reference ideas in their head. They don't. They look up reference pictures. There's nothing wrong with looking at reference pictures. And I say there's not even nothing wrong. That's absolutely right. Look up things and how to draw them. Because I for sure didn't just know how to draw an angelfish. I looked it up. And good news, you have Google or an encyclopedia or a fish tank or I don't know where else fish live. The sea, maybe. Maybe fish live in the sea. Okay, great. So this guy's kind of got his pouty face on. And he's like, I am an angelfish. And I am beautiful. I am a little bit snooty. And snooty people have this kind of fancy moustache, right? And then he's like, I am too beautiful for my own good. And uh, this angelfish is just like, oh, no. I can't even because just too much beauty um, with my my beautiful self. And uh, they, you've got this, and sometimes angelfish have these kind of cool feeler dudes out here like this. All right, so this angelfish has got beauty down here. And they're so colorful. I mean, the angelfish really are beautiful. Uh, but I think that sometimes when you're so beautiful and you know it, ugh, that can be really off-putting. So this angelfish knows how beautiful he is, and everybody else knows, and he's just like, look at and gaze upon me in my mirror, and it's the morning time, and he's getting ready, and he's like, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest, and he's like, you are angelfish, and he's like, oh my, I knew it, I knew it, but really, we all know that is not delightful. But this angelfish is a little snooty. And so we're going to give him a beautiful little vanity set because he's just getting all of his whiskers froofied by cleaner fish or cleaner shrimp. They're just like, oh, you're looking beautiful today, angelfish. And he's like, I know, I know, but, but please continue to tell me such things. Tell me beautiful things, cleaner shrimp. And they're like, oh, your mustache. Oh, your mustache is so long and so full. And I'm going to put wax on it to make it look beautiful, kind of. And then he's like, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes I want this. And uh, then this other angel, he's like, oh, your eyebrows. Your eyebrows are even beautiful. And he's like, I know, but never stop telling me all of these things. And this cleaner fish is up here going, I'm going to just make sure that your top fin is beautiful and and they're like, oh yeah, great. And this cleaner fish actually is like, pss, pss, gonna give you, pss, pss. like he's gonna give you uh, uh, perfume. And so he's just spraying perfume on you, like, Oof. and the, the, this guy over here is powdering his face with a big sponge, which also lives underwater. So that's good. I guess he could have a, hypothetically have a sponge. And he's like, powder, 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 powder. And this guy's also gussying him up. And what does fish perfume smell like? Probably smells a lot like 
fish food, which if you've ever like, smelled fish food, this is not a delightful smell, but this guy's like, I love it, and all of the ladies will love it, and I will love it, and the men will love it, and I will be amazing. And, uh, but I think if we follow the rest of the story, it's gonna be a little, I mean, I hope, I hope he learns his lesson. So we have a beautiful angel fish who is a little bit snooty, but we watch the rest of the story. Hopefully, he gets cooler and less lame. And, all right, we got this dude. We do a little, this guy needs a little scales up here. And, uh, oh, thank you, cleaner shrimp. Okay, great, cool. So, and what we're gonna draw right now, well, we've been drawing some fish, but let's now draw a, shrimp because there's lots of shrimp in the sea and there's lots of fish in the sea as well but there's also lots of shrimp so if i'm going to draw a shrimp it's basically a big cheeto shape i like traditional cheetos but puffed cheetos like puff for cheetos which i don't know which one is better puff cheetos or regular cheetos this is just like cheesy flavored air which i do like don't get me wrong. And if Cheetos wants to sponsor this drawing thing, I'd be super okay with that. Uh, I also love hot Cheetos. Anyway, you like hot Cheetos? You need, so, Cheeto, I digress. He's gonna have himself a tail, not unlike fish tails. All right, and shrimp have actually these little eye stalks, like they're, you can have an eye here, but I think it's gonna be more fun to have a shrimp with his eyes up like so, not dissimilar to the crab. And the, che the Cheetos, well, not Cheetos, what's his name? It's a, it's a shrimp. They, they actually also have these kind of pointy faces, which is, it's gonna throw that little triangle in there. And then, if you ever look, and the other thing that, Shrimp have are they like awesome antennas. Like these antennas do not play around. They're like three times the size of the shrimp body. And so um, this guy's gonna have, if I was drawing a real shrimp, it'd be like, meow, like off the page. Then we're gonna have, I'm just gonna give him some little, little face, little mouth thing. He's gonna, and then, then all I do is throw in some arms. All right, and Maybe we got, like, you know when you're enjoying shrimp, I always think of shrimp, the shrimp are kind of like bugs in the sea. Like you're just more or less just eating kind of like sea bugs, which are delicious sea bugs, don't get me wrong. I always think of like shrimp as just kind of being like, they're not like actual fish, they're more like, I don't know, kind of like sea bugs. All right, so these guys, also a fun thing about shrimp is they swim backwards. So this guy's like, boom, 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 boom. He goes this way. So I figure if we're gonna add some pizzazz, which we are because we're in Brady's art class, our pizzazz will be going that way. Maybe he is, he's got a jetpack on. No, I'll keep drawing jetpacks. He's gonna have a bicycle. He's gonna be having a bicycle, but he's riding his bicycle in the proper shrimp fashion, which is this way. It's not like, it's not a trick bicycle. This is just how shrimp ride bikes, is that they have their, they steer with the handlebars going this way. And they go cruising. There we go. And They cruise that way. And uh, uh oh, but friends, we must have safety measures because we are a modern shrimp. He has helmets for safety. And a chin strap here. And he's like, got cool designs on this. Like, what's up? Like, 
I've got, like, he's like, maybe he's a hardcore. All my fish are so hardcore and so scary. So he's, he's got like, I'm like a, a hardcore shrimp and maybe he's doing tricks and he's got like his trick pegs and, and he's got his vans on because he is a very cool shrimp and he's got vans and uh, he's got a little hair peeking out because you can't have your helmet on too tight. He's got his hair peeking out and he's just like, dude, gonna go, gonna go crazy. Gonna go jump off this ledge and there we go. Shrimp. All right, great, this guy looks good. So two things, one, if you like these drawing tutorials, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Uh, if there was a subscribe button, I would touch it. Uh, and uh, you'll let me know that I should keep making more of these. Two, I'm gonna take this guy and show you how to do a watercolor, more delicate watercolor, beautiful things with my watercolor pencils in another video. So if you're interested in seeing how I use the watercolor pencils, go to the next video where I do that. Uh, three, I lied. I said two, liar. Three, then hang tight, and I will color the rest of those very quickly in super sped up motion. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.